Every aspect of working on motorcycles or small engines involves using some type of measuring. Engine overhauls, tune-up, setups, and even chain adjustments require measuring tools. Mechanics must be proficient at using measuring tools that can measure down to one ten thousandth of an inch. This lesson will introduce you to the basic measuring tools that mechanics use to service their customer's equipment. There are many types of measuring tools. The most common measuring tools used by the mechanic are the ruler, dial caliper, micrometer, dial indicator, telescoping gauge, dial bore gauge, small hole gauge, plastic gauge, and feeler gauge. A ruler is the least accurate of all precision measuring tools. Most rulers divide the inch into one-eighth and one-sixteenth of an inch. Machinist rulers go down to one-sixty-fourth of an inch. They also could be divided into metric units. Since they are not very precise, they must be used for measuring that does not have to be very accurate. For example, measuring chain tension on a motorcycle. Rulers can be made of wood, plastic, or steel. Wood or plastic rulers are not as accurate as metal ones. A common type of ruler used by the mechanic is the 6-inch metal machinist ruler. The dial caliper can be used to make inside, outside, and depth measurements. They are not as accurate as the micrometer and are used to make measurements requiring a tolerance of less than two thousandths of an inch or .05 millimeters. Mechanics use them to make float height adjustments or measuring shims. The inside of the lower jaws can be used to make outside measurements. The outside of the jaws can be used to make inside measurements and the end of the caliber can be used to make depth measurements. The micrometer is the most commonly used precision tool used by the mechanic. Micrometers can be used to make inside, outside, or depth measurements. Micrometers can measure parts to within one thousandth of an inch or ten thousandths of an inch, depending on its accuracy. Metric micrometers can read to within one hundredth of a millimeter. There are three types of micrometers that are used. They are the outside micrometer, the inside micrometer, and the depth micrometer. The outside micrometer is used to measure outside diameters. These types of micrometers can be used to measure pistons, crankshafts, or camshafts. The inside micrometers can be used to measure inside diameters such as cylinder bores. The depth micrometer is used to measure depths. Mechanics may use these to measure the depths of holes. Dial indicators are used to measure runout or piston position. This tool is used to measure bent shafts, valves, or for timing an engine. A telescoping gauge is a spring-loaded tool that is used with a micrometer to measure the inside of holes or cylinder bores. They come in many sizes to measure from small to large holes. The dial bore gauge combines a dial indicator with a telescoping gauge. It is used with an outside micrometer to measure holes and comes in different sizes. It is an accurate tool that can measure within one thousandths of an inch and is often used to measure cylinder wear and size. A small hole gauge is a measuring tool with a round expandable head that is used with a micrometer to measure the inside of small holes. Small hole gauges can only measure small holes such as valve guides. Plasti gauge is made of thin strips of clay-like material that is used to measure the clearances between assembled parts such as connecting rod or camshaft bearings. Feeler gauges are used to measure small spaces between parts. 
They can have flat or round blades and the thickness of each blade is marked on each blade in both metric and standard. Flat feeler gauges are commonly used to measure valve clearances and round feeler gauges are commonly used to measure spark plug gaps.